Well, good evening, folks, and happy almost Sabbath. Look forward to meeting with you for Desire of Ages in a few moments, but we're just going to have our little devotional and focus on prayer uh, for the evening. So let's bow our heads before we begin. Father in heaven, Lord, we ask that you would daily be transforming us so that we can be remade more in your likeness, moment by moment, day by day. Lord, we need your Holy Spirit to fill us, to work with us, to renew our hearts and minds for your service. Bless us, we pray, as we're coming into your Sabbath hours. Help us to enjoy this little devotional and our time together this evening for those that join us for our Desire of Ages discussion. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Jeremiah chapter 31 verse 3 has this to say, I have loved you with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness, I have drawn you. Jesus is ever drawing us, pulling us towards him with an everlasting love, a never failing love. Me speaking to you this evening is evidence that he never gives up on us, no matter how far we may wander or stray from him. Steps to Christ, uh, page 13 and 15, has this to say, The Father loves us, not because of the great propitiation, but he provided the propitiation because he loved us so much. Christ was the medium through which he could pour out his infinite love upon a fallen world. God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, 2 Corinthians 5, 19. Such love is without parallel. Christ, children of the heavenly king, what a precious promise, theme for the most profound mediation, the matchless love of God for a world that did not love him. That's a love that by the world standards doesn't make sense. It's a love of a heavenly father who would send his son to the very people who he knew would eventually take his life and would mostly reject his message. We have some thoughts and comments for us to think about this evening. God has a work for you and I to do in this end time. What is your life like today? Have we given God permission to use us to promote the gospel of Jesus to the world we have in front of us. Perhaps you'll see his love through others, through nature, or by some other means. But I know that he is trying to reach out to you and I in any way that we are prepared to listen. If we feel distant, remember that he is drawing us with an everlasting love. He's waiting with arms open wide to receive us. Not only does he want to welcome us home, but he has a job for each and every one of us, a unique opportunity for each and every one of us to fill that no one else can fill for you or me. It's a job just for you or I. The king of the universe has something special in store for each one of us who will answer the call this evening. When you discover his love for you, maybe in some unique way, as you contemplate how he's been reaching out to you, write it down. Maybe take a journal. Write down the ways that you see God reaching you. How is he trying to get your attention? I would say right now, I think through the COVID crisis and the stay-at-home crisis, uh, God is trying to reach every one of us in an unprecedented way. He's trying to wake us from our slumber. He's reaching out. He's drawing us in with an everlasting love. But think about how he's specifically trying to reach you in a personal way. Think about that and maybe share it with somebody to encourage them to help them on their journey. And then let's try to make a habit out of looking for the love of God in unique ways, in little things, in big things, in ways that he is reaching us. When I think back over yesterday, last week, last month, and I start really looking for little things that maybe were coincidences, when I put God into the equation, nothing is a coincidence. It is God reaching out 
to let me know that he cares for me, that he loves me, and he is going to keep drawing me in with that everlasting love. And that is good news for me. And I pray that this evening it is good news for you as well. That concludes our little devotional thought. Uh, we do have some prayer requests given to us by the World Church. Pray for a willing heart to be used by God when and wherever he calls you to work. Pray that all the online and digital evangelism activities will be used and people will join in and get to know Jesus through this new online church medium. Pray for young people who are in a valley of decision for or against Jesus. Pray they will experience the love and truth of Jesus and gladly serve him with all of their lives. Lastly, pray for the many church groups around the world who don't have a building to meet in and are seeking for land or a way to build a church. Pray also for God to awaken all members to engage in church planting activities. As a pastor, that one is near and dear to my heart. I always pray that we will have 100% church involvement for evangelism and for the things that we are doing as a church. So I am grateful for each and every one of the members who, who responds, who takes part, who is there and, and supports by participation. Uh, so I, I do thank God that I already see that happening in my churches, but it could always be more. We could always have more people involved. So let's pray for those things uh, this evening as we contact our prayer partner and spend some time in prayer. I'm going to close with prayer now, and I'll see you again in a few minutes for our Desire of Ages Bible study or, or Desire of Ages study. Now let's bow our heads. Father in heaven, Lord, as we consider that you are drawing us with an everlasting love, as we consider that you have a specific job for each one of us to do, may we be wide open to your leading in our life. May we throw the heart's door wide open to your continual knocking and pleading to come in and dine with us. Lord, may our characters be ever changed more like your character the more that we allow you to fill us and to change us and to mold us and to make us into the masterpiece you would have each one of us to be. Bless us this evening. And thank you for this Sabbath rest that is upon us, I ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Blessings and almost happy Sabbath.